welcome! Today we are going to install Civilization 2 on a Windows 7 64-bit computer. Now we're going to need a couple pieces of software. The first one is called VirtualBox, which we will get from this site right here. So we download this. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. The second uh, thing we need is a operating system called uh, Linux Puppy, which you can get from PuppyLinux.com. Go to download Puppy. This link. Now I'm going to install Puppy 4.3.1. There's no particular reason for that, except that I know that it works. And then you download pup 431.iso which I have also already done. Next, we install VirtualBox, which will create a virtual computer for you on which to run our operating system. So we select VirtualBox, we run it, install. So you install it, and uh, once you finish installing, it'll ask you to reboot your computer. So, oh, yes, you have to go and select yes to a few of these things. So the program asks you to reboot your computer, and so you should do that once it's finished installing. You shouldn't have any problems with this part of the operation, and if you do, I'm sure there's plenty of support out there. So. We'll come back to the video once this part is done. Okay, so now you've installed VirtualBox and rebooted your computer if you were asked to. Next, we open the program and we want to create a new machine. We'll call our machine Linux Puppy and the operating system is Linux version other Linux. Go to next. We will choose 256 megabytes of RAM. That is fine. Just remember that however much RAM you choose will not be available to the rest of your system while you're using VirtualBox. Go to next. We need to create a new hard disk. Doesn't matter whether you use dynamically allocated or fixed size. Go with dynamically allocated. 2 gigabytes will be enough for our purposes. And then we create. Next, we right click and go to settings. And we go to storage. We select this disk. And we want to choose our PUP431 ISO. If it's not in the drop down, you select it from wherever it is in your computer. Next, we select the IDE controller, and we create a new disk, which we'll leave empty. You configure this to secondary slave, and you select host drive D. There are other configurations that might work, but some of them don't. Now we also check our network, and make sure that we're attached to NAT, because we're going to need to use the internet later. Okay, so now we'll start Linux Puppy. Now I've uh, disabled the view of the cursor for the rest of this video because once we get into the virtual uh, machine, having two cursors around will be annoying to watch. Now, I, now there are different settings you can have for the uh, display screen here. And when you do this on your computer, you'll probably want to use full screen. But I want to be able to stop my uh, video recording in uh, smaller segments because the audio and the video tend to get out of sync after a while. If so, I have a US keyboard and I'll select Canadian English just for the sake of it. Might as well select my own time zone. Now you want to use XVESA here because XOR might not work. It didn't for me in any case. Okay. 
So now I want to disable uh, mouse integration. Doesn't seem to work well for this operating system. And capture my mouse. So I'll select this frame size, this size here, because it works for me. You'll probably want to uh, select this yourself based on your own needs and how big your own screen is. Unfortunately, this isn't widescreen, but you know you can't have everything. Okay, what we now want to do is install Puppy Linux onto our virtual hard drive. In Puppy Linux, you only usually need to make one click for things. So we go to Run Universal Installer. We select the hard drive. We now need to use Gparted. We select this. We go to New. Now, don't worry about this warning, because it's only talking about the hard drive on our virtual computer. So we use Create. Click here again. New. Now it'll tell us... Now we choose our partition, use the whole thing, which is the default, go to Add. Then we right click and apply all operations. Apply. Close. And we close this. And we close this as well. Now we select the mount. We select optical. And you mount it. And you can tell it worked because there's a little green circle. So now we go back to install. We run Universal Installer again. And we select hard drive again. And then we select this hard drive right here. And you click Install Puppy to SDA1. Okay. We are going to do full install. And now we wait. We also need to install Grub. Install. Okay. We use default simple. Default again. Default again. And here we don't use defaults, but instead we use MBR. Okay. We click no here because we're done. Okay, the next thing we have to do is reboot the computer, or the virtual computer, I should say. So we can either do this from the menu, or you can right-click and get the same uh, options as the menu. Go to Shutdown, Reboot Computer. Now we want to save to file, click OK, OK again. We'll write Civ here for the sake of it, click OK. Normal, no encryption, click OK. Use the default 512. Well, you yes save. Click yes again. And now we wait for it to reboot. And it shouldn't take quite as long to re to uh, start the machine again, and it'll even tell you that later. See, next boot will be faster. Okay, the next thing we have to do is connect to the internet to download some uh, software called Wine. So we go to connect. We select internet by network or wireless LAN. And we select ETH0. Use Auto DHCP. And yes. Now we're done. Go to Browse. We'll maximize the screen. We go to Search for Linux Puppy Wine. Because Wine is a software that will let us run Windows applications on Puppy. So, so here we select the lower one, the package assembled by Green Dome. One one point three point two six. We select the first one. And 
and then we download it. We want to open it with the default application. Click OK. By the magic of video, we're just about done. Or, we are not. If it doesn't work the first time, we just do it again. Left click, open with default. And we hope it works this time. We click OK. And uh, our package has been successfully installed, and we don't need to in use Gecko Installer. So we cancel. Click OK. Now, if it happens that this doesn't work for a number of times, and it gives you a message about your temp files being full, just reboot the computer and try again, or the virtual computer and try again. Okay, now, if you haven't already done so, you want to insert your uh, Civilization 2 CD into the drive. You select SR1, capture and replace it. SR1 and that will mount it. Now you go into SDA1, you right click, you want new directory, which we'll call CivCD. You create it and open it. Move this down and make this larger. Next, we select everything in your CD and drag it to Civ CD and use copy. If you use move, you get a whole bunch of errors. So now we wait. Okay, through the uh, magic of video, that is now all done. So now we go into the Civ 2 file. You find install E, I guess if you want English, which is what I want to show you. you right click, file install E, set run action. And you make sure it has wine, uh, quotation, dollar sign, at symbol, quotation. If it has something else, type this in. Then you use use command. Now you right click again, and we set properties. Select right, 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 and you close it. Select properties again, make sure it actually did work. Then set permissions and make sure it's make executable. So yes. Then you click on it. Close this and use custom install. You only install the required game files. Unfortunately, it's bare bones, but if you install the other files, then uh, it doesn't, then it crashes. So now we continue. This, if you try to create this, it won't work, but you can see what happens anyway. Unable to locate a run program manager. Okay, so it didn't work. Which is unfortunate. Installation is complete. It's been properly set up. So, there you go. It is installed. Close this. Close this. Well, now that you've installed the file, you might actually want to play it. So, capture this again. Right click, go to file system, wine file. 
you click the C drive here. It'll be an MPS. Save two. Well, I guess now you double click around here. And you go to Save to EXE. I don't think this will matter if I turn it on anyway. So, then you go to Start a New Game. We'll start a small game. Might as well do Chieftain. This is just a, uh, let's see, actually, no, we'll do Deity because then we can wander around with the extra settler. Workers only. Use standard rules. So, there we go. Play around for a little bit. So, you see, this is how bare bones it is. You don't get a cyclopedia, and you won't get uh, sound effects either. So, we'll build Rome. And start a warrior. So, you can still use the goal function. And we'll research code of laws just for the fun of it. We want to around. And hope to find another tribe so you can see what negotiations are like. Now I haven't played a full game, but I have tested uh, like making a spaceship and uh, finishing a wonder using the cheat mode in any case. So I'll have to fortify this guy. Just make more warriors. All that figures. Okay, what really figures is that there isn't another sieve around here. Oh, so you discovered the advanced tribe, that works. Well, I'm just going to cheat in order to do this. First, I'm going to capture the mouse properly again. Oh, well, there they are. That figures. So, I'll we'll select a view. And, uh, oh, oopsie. Okay, that occurs because of my keyboard. Not to be. There we go. So, select warrior. And so we meet the English. And so the negotiations occur right on top of this screen. I'll give the alphabet just for the heck of it. Okay, so there we go. I can save a game. And I can load a game. And I can Okay, having stupid mouse problems again, which don't seem to occur in full screen. So you see, you can load a different game. And you can get out of the game. Now you can run the map editor as well. And that works. 
except that it doesn't filter out your maps here. Like, it doesn't filter out only maps and save games. So you can load a save game as a map. But if you try to load something else as a map, you get an error, and it, you have to close it. So you right-click, and use Kill. And you do a similar thing in uh, the regular game if you start on Cremate World. So you see, it doesn't it doesn't only, it doesn't filter out the maps, and here you can't even click on a saved game. So you right click, and you kill. Well, that's just about it. I don't know how to actually make shortcuts for these, but you know, if you're going to go through all this trouble to actually play Civ 2, you probably don't care all that much, or you're willing to live with it at least. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your Civilization 2 experience.